Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Diversity 2. In this episode, we are continuing with the map, of course. I don't know what else we're going to be doing. But, uh, let's see this time around. Let us go on this side since we completed three of the five over there. Uh, oh god. I'm regretting that portion as well. I'm actually regretting the dropper portion more than survival. That's why we're going to do it this episode. Because I am crazy. And, uh, you know, with the last couple episodes being kind of easy to me for some reason or another. I decide to, uh, let's make a rage, you know, a ragey type episode. Uh, so wait, wait, what, uh, what was this book called? Dropper tips, okay. Uh, aim for blocks that cushion your fall or find a way to drop from lower heights. Uh, you move faster going forward than any other direction, really. Uh, if the drop isn't loading fast enough for you, wait a few seconds after you die to load the area before you hit respawn. Okay, turning off clouds will definitely help. Uh, clouds should be already off considering it said to have them off at the beginning of the map. But uh, I, I guess a reminder is not a bad idea. So we got the 2600, uh, the coded. Okay. Uh, the David Bowie. <laughs> that sounds interesting. The Tide Die. Huh. Uh, the Juggler. Uh, wait. The, the, the B140. Okay. Uh, the, the colon was throwing me off there. The Waffler. Uh, the Trench. And back to the 2600. Uh, let us actually start with the coded. Uh, drop. Whoa. Uh, wait. Eight, one, three, six, seven, two. What? Eight, one, three. Eight, one, three, six, seven, two, nine. Six seven two nine. Eight one three six seven two nine four. Okay. Um. Uh, anvil over here. I gu I'm guessing we uh have to name this paper that eight three uh, eight one three eight one three six seven two nine four. Actually, copy paste in there. I can. Pretty awesome. Uh, insert code. Okay. Aha. Already done with that por portion. Uh, that was actually not too difficult. Uh, the David Bowie is up next. Drop. Whoa. Whoa. What? Um. What? The hell? Ah. No. Oh. Missed, missed the middle. Woo! I made it. Kind of, I think. Am I still breathing? I think so. Um, let's press the button then. Okay, we're done with the David Bowie. Am I sure this is dropper portion? This is the dropper portion, right? Uh, the tie dye is up next. I, apparently, I have died five times, but. Whoa, what? Um, they weren't joking about it being tie-dye, that's for sure. Uh, let's see, we could take this a bit slow. Let's do just that. Let's see, yeah, we can take this as slow up to this point, I think, until we get full health again. Uh, let's see, there we go. Yeah, that actually didn't take as much damage as I thought it would. Um, huh. I'm not I'm not raging too much at this. Ow, that was close to death. Uh, good thing I kind of had a good eye for the distance. Uh, let's see, let's go for here. Here. We are, we are dropping. We are we are technically dropping through the map. So uh, I mean. I, I guess some people could consider this cheap, but uh, I consider it uh, fair game at the land of uh, logic. Granted, it's not fair game in the land of medical world where uh, your legs would pretty much be broken. Uh, we can actually follow through all the way here now. Okay. That wasn't too bad. I didn't rage too much at that. Uh, too much. I didn't rage at all. Up next is the juggler. Ah! What the hell? What? Oh! 
Okay, I guess that explains why it's called the juggler. Uh, we gotta aim for what? The block in their hand? Ooh, overshot that way too much. Woo. Woo. That is a high balance for sure. Alrighty, wow. Proper maps, by the way, are always a bit trippy when falling down very rapidly over time. Uh, next up is a B140. Uh, Sand-based, huh? Whoa, what? Oh, not sand-based. That was a trick. Uh, let's see. Ah, um, is there another safe way down? Not over there, there isn't. Alright, full health. Good, we didn't die, thankfully. Uh, let's see, let's make that jump. Yeah, I wanted to see what was all over here. Ugh. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Uh, and this one comes out pretty far. This actually kind of looks like the end of a gun barrel of some sort. Also, this looks like an ice plane spikes biome that was turned onto its side. Uh, you know what? Looking at this, this is probably an ice plane spikes biome that they turned on their side uh, on its side. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that is the case considering what it looked like. Um, yeah, this this has got to definitely be a rotated uh, ice plane spikes biome. There's no way uh, this terrain would be something that was done quite easily in this natural looking. We are slowly coming down. Uh, I don't see any water or anything else down there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully there is a safe way down and I don't end up taking the wrong way or something and end up killing myself. Because I don't want to have another death on my counter. I'd like to have as minimal deaths on that counter as possible by the end of this. Uh, yeah, we're nearing the bottom of this, and, uh, you know what? Yeah, there, there is no safe fall down here at all. So, uh, the way I took it was the only way to actually beat this particular dropper. Which is interesting. Alrighty, uh, where to next? Down there, I suppose? Yep. Took a little bit of damage, but not, not a whole lot. Alright, we are at the bottom. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, before I press that button, let's actually take a look from back here. Yeah, that is definitely an ice plane spikes biome they turned on that side. There, there's no doubt about that. Um, if you don't believe me, just uh, rotate your head <laughs> in the appropriate direction or open up the map itself and MC edit and then uh, just rotate this entire area. So this is flat, and you, you'll see it's naturally generated terrain that they uh, flipped. Uh, they probably did do some modifications on it, of course, probably to make it uh, fit, but uh, yeah, that was actually really nice. I am definitely not raging at these as much as I thought I would. Waffler, huh? Now, this one seems to be... That is what is on the symbol uh, on the floor there. Uh, whoa, whoa, what, who, what, what, what the hell did I just watch? What the hell am I looking at? <sighs> Welcome to the Waffle House. Indeed. Wow. Um, that was interesting. The Trench is up next. Drop. Uh, space themed, huh? Interesting. Select. No, no thanks. Whoa. What the hell? Why? What? Ow. Ugh. I already made it to the water. Uh, only one death on this portion. Uh, the dropper portion seems to be a lot easier than it was on the other map, that's for sure. Uh, got no problem against that. What? Is it? Oh, we're already down to our last dropper. Uh, the 2600. 
Ooh-wee, whoa, what, who, what, when, where, why, how, what, what, the heck, what? I was not expecting this. Uh, so confused, where are the blocks coming from? Why are they there? What's going on? I don't even know. I, I, I can't even right now. I, um, this one's probably going to get me raging just a bit. If I had to take a guess, because my eyes are trying to adjust on to the blocks that are coming in at me, and it's not... It's not working too well. It's not working too well at all. Um, wow. Uh, what? What? Ow! I didn't even see that block coming. Why was there a block there? Why? Why was that? Why was that a thing? Uh. Uh. uh, uh no. Uh. Uh. Oh. Uh, oh. I thought I got past that block. Stupid falling. Woo! Woo! No! I didn't want him to die. I'm too young to die. Too young to die. No! Too young to die. I said. Nope, not going to make it. Uh, and I can go on to the outer edge, but I think I'm going a bit too far out. Nope. Hit the block. Uh, we were up to 23 deaths already, aka ouchies, 24. Uh, most of them are now coming from this dropper. Uh, this is the kind of dropper I kind of expected for the other seven, but... Uh... <sighs> uh, uh. No! I saw the block coming, but I, I, I just didn't react to it for one reason. Oh, I lived. Oh. Maybe I can actually take this slow now. Uh, yeah, I saw that one block coming, but I just couldn't react to it. Don't know why. Um, just, just, just couldn't. Ooh, I actually made the jump. Uh, this block. And this one. And that one. Uh, that one. next this one this one no missed Whew. that was close that was very very close uh, let's see let's get some health back up before we continue falling to our death uh, one block at a time this one's up next and this one nope dead took too much fall damage that was a bit unfortunate yeah I was trying to actually do the dropper map properly that time um, uh, nope. I wonder why this is called the 2600. Ow. Oh, we can get back up here. Uh, yeah, we can actually go ahead and continue our falling ever so slowly routine. And, uh, hopefully actually get through this and be done with it. Uh, at least, uh, hopefully, this is the actual last level they might have thrown in an extra because, well, they can. Because they were the map developers. Something like uh, map developers throwing it. By the way, is this Space Invaders on the edges? It is. I thought I noticed that on the way down, but I wasn't 100% sure. Alrighty. I might actually be able to sneak through here and. Ooh. Alrighty, we can made it all the way down. And here's a button. Ah, ah. Why game? Why? Uh, alrighty. I guess we can head on down through here then. Hmm. Uh, there is void down there. Is there not? That is void down there. That's just not even friendly, guys. But yeah, they would throw in one more uh, dropper portion to the map in order to actually get to the wool. I uh, saw that common for sure. Ooh. There's lava and stuff down here, huh? Nope. Dead. Took, took, uh, took too much fall damage. 
drop here, drop here. Let's go ahead and heal up for a moment as we run around. Already took a little bit of damage here, surprisingly. Already. Trying to minimize the amount of damage I take from falling so I can regen before I uh, take more fall damage. Nope. I meant to jump, uh, ended up missing it. And uh, yeah, there was that. Uh, where am I? This is a weird spot to be at. But, nope. You know what? We're just going to go all the way down if we can. Okay, so that is actually the wall down there. But uh, apparently we cannot do it that way. There's no safe fall down there unless we rely on in the lava, which uh, I do not recommend. Do not recommend one bit. Nope. Too much fall damage. Okay. Alright, so uh, falling onto that one portion is definitely a big no-no. Um... Yeah, it's just not good for our health. But, uh, yeah, it looks like there is a stairway here that we can need to take to some extent up to here, which then it kind of looks like it's uh, just a uh, find your own way from there, uh, preferably without taking too much damage, of course. But uh, there's only so much I can do. Uh, that was only three hearts of damage. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, let's see, let's head on over to here. Head on down this way. Alrighty. Feeling pretty good about this right now. So far so good. So far so good. Um, and then down this way, over to here. Uh, interesting dropper design for this particular one, by the way. Uh, just figured I'd throw that out there. It kind of looks like they had some natural terrain that they uh, then cut into, well, two separate pieces for one for the nether and another one for the uh, overworld. And then just stuck a bunch of TNT through the center of it and there's the hole. Uh, I'm sure they might have polished it up afterwards, but uh, yeah, it does look like they just was like, all right, spam a bunch of TNT everywhere. Yeah, the, the, this is natural terrain. No, no doubt about that. It's got to be natural terrain there, along with this and everything. Uh, don't get me wrong, natural terrain in custom maps is great and all, but uh, as I, I think I mentioned in one of my other videos uh, on another map that we did, or I did rather, uh, I mentioned natural terrain ge uh, generation use is kind of lazy, but uh, the, there are obviously some times where it's more useful than not. Uh, this is definitely one of them. Uh, it would be annoying to have to brush this out in uh, MC Edit or uh, World Edit or something of the similar sort. Uh, not impossible, of course, but uh, just annoying to accomplish. Okay, good. I made that jump and I get to live. Good, good, good. Alrighty, so we're getting down near the end here. Um, ooh. This might have been a wrong mistake here. Uh, let's see, that is only one block thick there. I don't know if I can make that jump. Let's, uh, let's find out. Uh, oh, I did. Whew. That was a close one. Uh, we're nearing the middle, the bottom though. Um, hmm. Okay. So we got this here. We can't. Can, can we actually push the button from here? We cannot. So how do we get over there? I wonder. How do we get over there? Yeah, if we're not supposed to fall uh, onto that platform, how how do we get to its uh, button? Hmm. Not not through there. That's for sure. I can tell you that much. Is this glowstone leading us somewhere? I almost feel like it's leading us somewhere. From here, huh? Aha! Okay, I see. Thank you, glowstone. That was actually very helpful of you. 
Uh, thank you, map developers, for putting that in to help lead where you're supposed to go to make that jump. But uh, we have just completed the proper portion of the map and got the blue wool, and now it is official, and I hope you guys enjoyed I did not ever notice that those columns changed with the last color completed. Ah, that's interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, blah, blah, blah. And uh, until next time, take it easy.